Well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it was not for no reason. It was good, this video here. A few minutes later. I am commander. Nema problem. This man, um, this guy completely, completely. This guy totally, 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 uh, totally rewinded my memory. Totally everything I know exactly what happened once I left to the US for work. Already on a cruise line ship. I disappeared from the cruise line ship already. Strange crap because work on the ship required you to stand up 20 hours a day, run with the plates heavy, heavy plates, deliver food to the people fast, faster than you possibly can imagine. It's just a five star service. Uh, a little bit like a zoo but I was really good at but it was really every time you ran into dining room or whatever um, you were just amazed on how quickly body hand can adjust to certain moves certain things to perform more like a military service I would say and all of a sudden I found myself in a very beautiful place in a very very beautiful uh, you know lively very lively very beautiful place very relaxed totally contrary to what I was going through in 95 I was in London and this guy that I met who became my magic pal was no other than Prince Andrew. Uh, Prince Charles would be he, he really acted like a king uh, completely like a king and Prince Andrew was like my pal, my friend, something in that sense, but something like very, very high up there, very, very high up there, in that sense, you know, it would feel in that sense. I wouldn't get to talk much to Charles at all. Uh, I would get to talk to Andrew. Charles would be basically talking to Andrew, and Andrew would be talking to me. They had like a chain command like this. Charles was like a big boss at the time. They brought some lady as soon as they got me to London. Before the London, I was transferred to the Serbs in occupied part of Croatia to this man here that you see. This guy here. This guy was like extremely 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 important person Meyer Bauk maybe because of his appearance I have no idea why but Belgrade invested in this guy everything this guy was a uh, extremely extremely important person important enough to interact literally with the prince andrew too prince andrew stated me was here on a few occasions and as i interacted with his people with his chetniks here that is as i interacted with his chetniks around here uh it became evident that we are no match for one another I was no interested in any kind of a Serbian Chetnik military games on Balkans. Before I immigrated to United States of America in 95 for work on a cruise line, I have immigrated to Austria, where very similar experience have happened to me. MK Ultra experience. The same. Blocked from job, 
and all of a sudden with Udba people from Slovenia, Serbia on the picture. Now all of a sudden they started to come out like ants from all over the place. I returned back to Slovenia and the same shit repeated once I immigrated to the US. How would it be possible that you just go and you fly from one continent to the other, back and forth from three continents? Actually, not three continents, yeah, to three continents, because Africa was included. That's quite incredible to think uh, for somebody 23 year old, just like this, you just fly, just shoo, 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 back and forth. That's impossible to imagine. If I do states something like this to someone back then, I'd go straight to the loony house. That you go, you don't, you don't, you don't save yourself a life. In London, where I was taken from here, because the one who ran the war, the one who ran the war against four nations and the Balkans, was actually not even Milosevic. I was told the one, the big boss, the one who truly ran the war, in fact, was this guy here. He was involved. He was the one. He he had whatever he had. This one here is long gone. This you see right there. Alexander Yugoslavia. Then you have this. That's a Peter II of Yugoslavia. That's the one who actually escaped from Belgrade. And that's his son right here, actually, let me see that. I don't understand that. Grandchildren. Yeah, yeah, this, we already met this. Grandchildren, grandparents. Okay, I see. You know what? Let's just go here this way because I don't have the time for this shit. I don't care. They multiply like a cockroaches. No different. This is the guy who ran, this guy, this is the guy who ran war in the Balkans. This is the guy who was implicated. It says under his resume here, right here, a return to Yugoslavia says that he was in opposition to Milosevic. However, it's mentioned right here that he did came to Yugoslavia first time in 1991. That's where the war basically exploded. He worked as opposition to Milosevic, my ass. He assisted Milosevic who built, and meanwhile, uh, an entirely Chetnik formation from the Yugoslav, remnant of the Yugoslav army. Chetniks are always the one that served this here, this thing here that you see here. I'm just seeing Philip Peter, Alexander, it appears he doesn't have a children, but you know what, there are so many. <laughs> you know what, a Prince Andrew presented me, this guy as he presented to me as a partner. And as much as these guys were completely disluded with me because they didn't want to have nothing to do with them, I sent them to hell. I was, strangely enough, not shot but instead transfer to London. And in London, it was a Prince 
Andrew, who presents him to some kind of princess from this Karadjordjevich family. To which meeting, first meeting in London, I told you it was very casual, nice. The woman looked good. I said yes. Initially, I said yes to her. And they did had us together a little bit. And I was definitely for yes. I was 23 years old at the time. She had some other girl next to it, back and forth. And it was, appears like everything arranged. But the Prince Andrew took me away from the table and mingled me with some other females, whatever females, that did appear to look better than Princess uh, whatever her name was, Kara Georgievich. Then he brought me back to her and I declined invitation. It's when Prince Andrew got pissed off with me. He said, you don't do this stuff like this, you understand? You're fucking with my partner. When you say fucking with my partner, you're talking about this guy here, Alexander. This guy. This is what Prince Andrew presented me as a partner before I touched the ground of the U.S., Actually, I was already in the U.S., but during the work on the ship is what this took place. I didn't settle in the U.S. yet when this happened. In a moment that when he said that, I, that I'm fucking with his partner, he threw me on a plane and they flew me through Africa. This is in completely broken in like a last millimeter detail on exactly how it all started I mean, like a fucking day one in Africa it must have been like a Cameron Cameron region Nigeria I don't know whatever it was that's what the government suggested me but i kind of point out those guys to be from liberia and uh you know ghana liberia something like that now this corner here that you see here this ladies and gentlemen the beautiful Babes from London were gone from the picture. And there was some kind of jungle babes that appeared. Black jungle babes. Which one are you going to marry? I was like, none. And it was, exactly. You will marry. Yeah, you will. You, why not? Yeah, oh, you're racist. That's all it was. That's all it was. When I say jungle babes, you're talking about poor village, village that forest, bush, poor infrastructure, poor place, poor place. They didn't look anywhere near as fine, as good as these London babes. And I became a racist. Then they involved people from the area. And that's how the MK Ultra started. Black people. And you racist. You racist. Now marry. Racist. Why not marry? Racist. This and that. Flown back to Chetniks to occupied portion of Croatia where the Serbian Chetniks lodged and where eventually over course of the time uh, not course of the time but pretty much with this black people from Africa became volunteers for the war in Balkans they joined they already had some black people there it appeared they already had guy too 
maybe two or three guys maybe even that already were engaging in war and the rest of it I already have everything explained in the video who is what I got nothing else to say this is basically how it all started this is where the resentment came from against me uh, from the black part of the world this basically is who cook one this is how it all started and it became fortified over the course of the time with a central intelligence agency British British did this shit you're in my work on celebrity cruise lines before even Americans got a hold of me who knows uh, but yeah 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 when you're talking about Bahamas Bermuda you know that's where I was where I worked on the celebrity cruise lines so this is how it all started now we know from the day one basically the way it all started yeah and then you're racist that's all there is you become racist uh, they bring bad people into a new environment uh, and it's no problem they get instructor and instructor literally was Prince Andrew who spent time with this very valuable to this guy here to this guy here to this Serbian yeah with a click of the button like this you see this publish and use and when you're gonna go over this here you're just gonna go the two are friends from the military Prince Andrew and the guy that you have seen right there from the military times you see this here this you're gonna read about this guy you're gonna see him with Adolf Hitler, Mars 1940, or whatever. L'invasion de. So I'm gonna say uh, the only thing I'm gonna say at British issues concerning racism, I'm gonna say fuck you. And I, it goes the same to the Central Intelligence Agency. You see, you motherfuckers, you see this here? That's not me sitting next to Adolf Hitler that's your pal from London and the Serbs today even instigate how great would it be if they would be part of the Third Reich it never would be war it would be like a Switzerland you just have to go over this video and I'm gonna put this video right I'm gonna embed one in it so that you're gonna get to understand what exactly have happened to you who exactly was behind how exactly did it all happen so the only thing I did was I said no no to Chetniks transferred to London offered some kind of Princess Karadjordjevic whatever clan family Serbian Chetnik woman rejected one taken to Africa pronounced as a racist brought right where you see right there to this location back see this thrown in there demonstrated to the world as a racist under the British operation and that's how the war went on in Croatia since 1995 so now you understand who was behind Kara Djordjevic and who was behind Milosevic Milosevic was indicted to hug with the Karadjic with other war criminals for the crimes against humanity now you get where this is coming from okay case resolved everything understood 
What I'm disappointed about is that American blacks knew absolutely everything about this and had done absolutely nothing about it. Instead, people like Mike Tyson, Magic Johnson, before I even touched the floor in the United States of America, I learned and knew about this, gave the support through the Central Intelligence Agency for the crime against me. They started the war against me before I arrived officially, settled down in the United States of America. That's all I want to say. A case now is resolved. United Nations, who also knew about all this, it appears clearly did not serve its purpose, therefore clearly did not serve reason, clearly did not serve its legacy, or I should say post-World War II legacy. Uh, reason why she was established on the first place clearly did not see beyond uh, corruption, beyond crime, beyond uh, special interests and that's what United, United Nations is United Nations is a club of few wealthy and it presents, represents a special interests. And when it comes to special interests, special interests work exactly as I described in these videos. Uh, it's two poles that really attract each other. Uh, I don't know. I think that the marriage between Thomas Merkel and between Meghan Merkel, his mother, was completely indifferent than the one we see today between Prince Harry and Meghan Merkel. They attract each other, I think, for all the wrong reasons. Now, I, on the other hand, did date black women in the U.S., mixed Latina women, uh, Asian, you name it. I really did, and uh, I didn't earn any money with it. I didn't earn any special interests. I didn't earn any uh, anything doing that kind of stuff it was actually contrary to this they made my life hell completely completely upside down they twisted one around it somehow because these people are so interested in creating interracial relationship between me and some female during mk ultra uh, it just happened so that in real time uh, the marriages except for one occasion somehow wouldn't go through as much as I tried so that's all I want to say for this video for me case is resolved I know exactly I understand exactly how it all happened before I even touch the ground in the US thank you for watching this you won't see me updating any of this I now understand exactly what took place. What I can do is I can refer you to this video here where you can see both. This is very important to see Ukraine after six months war on one update and where the whole thing is taken to. For that matter what I'm gonna do is I am gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click one more button like this We're going to publish this one as well. There you go. Nothing else to say about this. Thank you for watching. Now this really did 
bring the memories. Blem, Nema, Nema, Nema Nista. Nema Ustasha. Nema Ustasha. Nema Ustasha, man. Everything good. Okay, that's it. So you see that he was just brought there to serve like a clone on a camera. Uh, happy, happy, happy. Did this guy even know what the fuck went on? <laughs> um, not really. Uh, but then again, really. You know what you're doing when you're lying. Right? You know. 